and welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara and I'm on the Continental Divide Trail through hike from Mexico to Canada. Uh, just uh, I think less than 100 miles and I will hit the halfway of the whole thing. So um, yeah, but right now I'm a little bit in a special situation. Uh, like some of you have seen in the last episode, I saw smoke coming in from some kind of forest fire, which I couldn't say where it was. Um, it turned out to be pretty close to me, kind of just maybe fifth, by then 50-60 miles more north. Uh, it's a bit north of Steamboat Springs, uh, the resupply stop which I hit yesterday. So this forest fire was really in the area where we should cross with our CDT trail. Uh, so this caused an additional trail closure. And um, this time we have the opportunity to walk around. It's a roadwalk mostly roadwalk right now it's a very pretty heavy trafficked paved road but i think later on it should become still gravel road um, i think the the detour or the rerouting it's about i'm not so sure it's like 40 40 miles 50 miles could be but uh, i kind of figured out that this is nice as well i mean I see a lot of beautiful sceneries in the mountains, but what I catched this morning is quite an impression how it does look like in Colorado in the valley areas. There's a lot of ranches and um, it's kind of pretty. And uh, of course, traffic I don't need, but uh, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, yesterday it was a very, very, very busy resupply stop in team team Steamboat Springs. Just because as well of this rerouting, I really had to figure out where to go, what to do, and um, had to download some more apps. And I'll speak about a little bit later in this video about these apps and orienteering and how we, how we act in uh, trail finding. Uh, yeah, it was very busy. That, that's also... It's these towns, they mostly are very, very busy in a way. You, you have to do laundry, you have to shower, you have to upload, you have to... There are so many things you have to do. And then additionally, there is a lot of hiker buddies around, friends around, which you meet again since quite a while and you want to change words. And so it's uh, in a way always a hectic time, a beautiful time. But uh, this is also the reason why I mostly don't make any videos in town. I really try to be better and someone take this with as well, but um, it's probably not only this. I'm kind of shy still to take videos and clips in the public. So yeah, that's maybe step number two. Anyway, uh, I kind of pulled myself away from the road right now down to river. I made some 13 miles already. Roadwalks, of course, they kind of go fast. That's the positive thing. I make some break and it soon seems that later on is coming some rain, thunderstorm. So then I will just crush on with pores in the mouth and some water. First eat some lunch and cool down my feet.
Yeah, now, I don't know, it's just, I'm just happy. This kind of seldom happens to me that I almost have to cry just because I'm happy. And I'm fucking walking on a road. I don't know, life is just good, whatever. Some words about trail marking and navigation. Basically the CDT is marked with these signs, but um, it really depends where it, where it is. It's, sometimes it's, it's better, sometimes it's less. And big, big parts, they don't have signs at all. So the most, most important tool is an app for the smartphones, which is uh, from the company Gatuk. This is the CDT version what we are using. This app is pretty straightforward and very simple made. It's community based. This means every hiker can add comments if you have a login and like this the app is kept very fresh and updated. Within the app are different tools. The main tool is probably the map which is used most where you also can see the trail as this red line on. GPS based, you always can see where you are with a little blue dot on the red line. Behind these different marks on the map are the comments of the hikers and as well partly from Gatuk. For situations like we had it now, that we have to do a detour or go around some places or if we want to leave the trail in a certain special uh, spot, I use Gaia GPS app, which is as well uh, an app for the smartphone where you can download maps. Uh, it works pretty much the same like the Gatuk CDT app, but you don't have this sort of red line as the trail under. It's just a normal ordinary map. There is as well other maps available like those so-called lay maps, which many hikers also use. The lay maps, they kind of have 
alternates to the gut hook to the main red line which you can choose from if you feel like you want to hike slightly differently. But I personally just use gut hook and this Gaia GPS app. That's enough for me. And of course, not to forget is the compass, which is deep down in the backpack in case the phone is lost or the battery is empty or the phone is broken. Yeah, finally I reached the Colorado-Wyoming border. I leave Colorado with some tear in the eye and in the same time a smile on the face. It was all in all a very hard section, a very hard state, harsh on the weather, uh, a lot of elevations, but really, really, really beautiful mountains. But there was a moment when I really was a bit fed up of mountains, uh, of the mountains and those among you who know me, is, uh, you really know what this means. But um, here I am now. It's uh, pretty low. I don't know what it is here. Like so 8,000 feet maybe. But um, I still will go lower. And uh, Wyoming is offering again as the first a desert depart, the basin, so-called basin which is uh, some kind of <clears throat> stretch at least one week which is really really dry no shadow and um, yeah hot no water again so it's really variating that that in my opinion it's also what makes this trail really really fun it's um it's changing all the time uh, but um yeah looking forward for this before then re-entering mountains again in Montana. Uh, in the same time, this is uh, mile 1,499. So in one mile, I will hit 1,500, which means officially halfway of the trail. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how this feels. In um, on the PCT, I was very, very sad about. I kind of felt that now the journey starts towards home. Um, I don't have this feeling yet, or I don't have it. It's um, I'm not sad, but I'm not happy. It's just, uh, it's 1,500 miles. Yeah, so um, let's attack the second half and I'll meet you again, more north. Yeah, I'm just waiting on the, the worst storm until the worst is over. I choose an uh, area with not too much dead trees and this one I'm sitting under is pretty healthy so I think I'm fine. This will last maybe half an hour and I can go on again. But um, probably the sunglasses I can take off now.